Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me for yet another video. It's Dejan. So today I will be talking about the housing agency of Jamaica and three specific projects by them. So if you're interested in that, please go ahead and stick around. <music> Okay, everybody, thank you so much for sticking around for this video. As usual, this video is brought to you by Superior Tutoring Services. Doing I just want to wish you guys as well a happy new year. This is actually my first video for 2022. Thank you so much for sticking with me throughout 2021. Jump into this video. Okay, guys, so last year I featured three projects by the housing agency of Jamaica. And as you can remember, I was singing their praises. I was so excited at all the projects that they had in store for us. Catherine Estates, Shooters Hill, and the most recent video I did was the Alexandria Project in St. Anne. However, now I have to go ahead and say that I am deeply disappointed with their lack of professionalism their lack of communication and just outright foolishness i can go ahead and show you guys that as of so the um let's talk about the catherine estates project first so initially when i first brought this to your attention a lot of persons were interested because we were so excited at the prospect of getting a unit for 6.5 and 5.5 million we know later on they actually up the prices to seven and six million dollars for the one bedroom and duplex units respectively however that's not my issue of concern it wasn't the 500 thousand there are various things as people would call them red flags that came up with this project the first thing was i noted to you guys that they had about 50 persons that had made initial down payments um from how long i think 20, 2012 or 2011 yes yeah, so persons had made down payments from as far back as 2012 and um, they decided to stick with those down payment however they did not tell the public how they were going to handle that and I had expressed that it is possible that they may be given the units to those persons which is fine they were waiting almost 10 years so it only naturally that they're going to do that why not tell the public that you're going to do that they proceeded to say okay this is phase one we're offering 50 units and um go ahead and send in your application the persons were asking when will application be open well when will application be open we heard nothing it was out of pure luck that i was actually able to go to the launch and um, without notice they just closed the application on everybody and a lot of persons were like how could you guys do that some persons i know even got their um pre-approval letters from the nht and they expired because they take six months they expired because they were waiting that long for the housing agency to tell them when the project will be ready and they just went ahead and did did us dirty like really dirty and i i am just i can't hold back because i am very disappointed with them and as someone that was singing their praises and happy because this affordable this affordability game is nothing to play with people are crying for affordable houses in jamaica and not that we don't understand that materials are very expensive i mean all over the world inflation is going on however what i'm saying is that the salary 
just don't match it up. The salary really don't match it up. So persons were really excited at this prospect. I'll give you an example. Um, when I was a little girl, there was, uh, and I was too young to understand, there was a project um, close to me in Angels. Um, Angels Estate Phase 2 and um, Angels Grove. Now, Angels Grove featured studio units. You know, studio is like a room with everything in one. And they were going for, I think, about a million at that time. Well, that's what I was told. And then you had the Angels um, Phase 2, which were two-bedroom, one-bath unit. You know, standard starter home units. And uh, I heard recently that um, police and teachers and nurses they completely rejected no don't say that this is for a fact this is hearsay but i heard that these people completely rejected the studio units and they went ahead and got the um two bedroom one bath units because it felt like an insult to them to be given those type of units fast forward to 2021 and persons of various professions and these are first time homeowners have approached me persons who are teachers persons who are police officers persons who are are, are um persons who are, are nurses i don't know if i said nurses already but they they approached me and they were they really wanted these units and these are the same similar types of units that were rejected like 20 years ago and it shows you this great deficit that is in the market people really need affordable housing and that is why i am so disappointed another thing is that the haj has not made a post since september 11 can you see that september 11 2021 they have not made a post since then and they told us that phase two would be ready for october 2021 i've called them <laughs> I've called them and I'm telling you guys, <laughs> customer service in of itself needs a huge upgrade in Jamaica and the HAJ is no different. Now guys, I'm, this is not a video dragging the HAJ, but this, this is just me saying that we need to do better. We need to do better for our people. We need to do better for the working population and this is why so many persons are forced to migrate. Now, the other project, the Shooter's Hill project, <laughs> nothing. As I said, they have not posted since September. They have not posted anything since September. And calling them is like... And so many persons expressed interest. Um, persons were talking about the one bedroom units that they said they had. And I've heard that they will not be having those units anymore anyway. So they're not going to have the one bedrooms anymore. Um, and they have not made an official announcement. So why aren't you guys communicating with the public? HAJ, please answer me. Why aren't you doing this? People are depending on these housing houses. Why aren't you communicating with us? You guys come in the media and you have all these nice words and you paint this pitch off. This grand thing that how oh, oh housing is affordable and people can it's sad. Um the final project is the one that I most <laughs> I am. I don't want to say I'm most disgrunt disgruntled about, but I'm really um, annoyed at people at HAJ know, don't know nothing about this Alexandria project. They know nothing of it. They're like, um, I'll do some checks and I'll get back to you. Can you can you give me a telephone number that I can reach you at? Yeah, I gave them two. So, <laughs> the point of this video is that we really need to do better as Jamaicans. As I say, 
as I said rather housing is something that we need a housing is a basic need and for people to be denied housing I think it's just a pretty sad but <laughs> As we move on, I am not going to I'm not coming off their case, people. May I call them every day for you know, to find out what is going on. So um we're waiting on Catherine Estates phase two. If you were somebody who received a Catherine Estates unit, please let us know. We want know, we want to know. <laughs> people want evidence. So you can go ahead and leave that comment in the comment bar. But until my next video, I have a lot of things coming up for you in Old Arbor. So look out for that. As usual, have a great day, everyone. And see you soon.